Hi there, well, this is video three of my game dev video blogs. I hope to continue these for a while. It's been a long time since I've done an, an update and uh, I've actually been quite busy doing stuff, but uh, I also have a young baby at home and I've been terrified to try to do any videos that have sound because I don't want to wake him up and A, get his noise in the videos and B, uh, lose my opportunities to do any work. So I've uh, been kind of hesitant to do any sort of videos for that. Uh, the two that I did were silent and I wasn't really happy doing silent videos. So going forward, gonna be using sound. As you can see, I've got this uh, microphone here up on the website. This is what I'm using now. It's better than the microphone situation that I used to have. So I can talk much more quietly, much more comfortably. And it also picks up a lot less of the background noise. So kind of happy to be doing that. Um, I've also been doing a couple of other things behind the scenes um, just before I get into the actual game dev. One, I've been, started using Trello to kind of block out a to-do list and I'm finding this very helpful. I've, I've got a list of stuff to, to do, stuff that I am currently working on. And it's nice because you can click on stuff and you can kind of keep a log of uh, where any sort of background information you need. You can see I've been following a tutorial here for getting an inventory done, but this is, uh, now that I'm done the tutorial, this is the list of stuff that I need to start tackling. Uh, very helpful having this system. Uh, consider using something like this for yourself. Um, and then finally, again, before I get into the actual stuff that I've done in the game, uh, I had this uh, decision to start making version backups of stuff, and so you can see that I've got that going on. I'm using Unreal Engine. Uh, I moved the project into 4.8 when that came out. Uh, and so I've got this nice little system where I've got all these, whenever I do the changes to this stuff in-game, uh, I can come in here. Uh, let's commit tonight's changes, actually. Um, finished... So we've now got this set up, so you know, if my files crash in the future or if I start making changes or whatever and need to revert back, it's very easy for me to start going through my history and, and revi reverting back to old fixes. So you can see I have been doing some changes here. Um, and so let's actually go into the game and start taking a look at what's new, what's different. Uh, you can see I've got some music. I should probably, just for the sake of the video, turn that off. I don't know if you could even hear over that, but uh, let's just turn off that music. Actually, no, I forgot that I'm uh, recording music to a different channel, so I can turn that down and post. Okay, so we've got this game. We've got the level. I've, I, I turned off the, uh, the time date changes because uh, it's kind of very irrelevant while prototyping. But, um, so the way we've got it, I've still got this item. Uh, actually, I must have turned that off. It's been a while. But anyway, this is, uh, is supposedly the object that I'll be able to push around. Um, so we've got an inventory screen. I can come up and I can collect items. And you can see that it gets added to the inventory. This is this is based on that tutorial that I was just following. So you can see the different pieces of information. You can drop items and pick them back up. Um, so this is actually all loaded up in a persistent level right now. And then I can actually transition over to another level. You can see this dude walks around. Uh, I need to fix the camera. And I can't currently, I don't actually have any interaction with that guy at the moment, but he can run up to one point and then he'll pause and kind of kick around there for a little bit. And then he uh, will go down to another targeted spot that I've got him set to run to. And then he just basically just repeats the same thing over and over. Uh, I can pick up more items. And uh, we've actually got a crafting menu here as well, which unfortunately none of this is set up for the controller right now. Uh, and, you know, it's still work in progress to actually start making everything look nice, but uh, you can have locked stuff. Um, 
you can try to craft it except uh, it's locked so you can't actually craft it or you can craft an item and uh, oh, yeah bugs need to be sorted out I can't seem to get out of this menu that's hmm I'm not sure what exactly is broken there I haven't experienced that yet um, But yeah, basically that's it right now, is just this uh, little bit of stuff. It's actually taken me quite a chunk of time getting to that, uh, and then I can go back up to my other level. Um, so I still need to, to do work with actually doing the game save stuff right now. I've like done a, a small prototype, um, I actually forget how to save, because I just kind of figured it out and left it. But you know, the because it's persistent levels, the idea is you can load in different zones and keep stuff efficient in memory. Um, items will kind of disappear and stay wherever you put them. They'll go into a save file. And yeah, so that's uh, quite a chunk of work that I've been doing in the past month, learning all this. Um, well, hope to hope to finish up with the inventory stuff at least semi finish up with it soon and then I'll be able to move that down into needs refinement or something uh, but my next step is going to be start getting interaction with that NPC character that's running around getting some dialogue going on uh, so that's it this has already been seven minutes um, next update should be a lot faster since uh, hopefully it won't be another month before the next one thanks for watching